If you're buying a home, ask yourself this question. Is the agent representing the seller and you? If he is, he's a dual agent. Dual agency is legal in all but five states, and there's nothing wrong with being a dual agent. But you don't want the same agent representing both you and the seller, do you? Human nature is just going to tell you. Maybe he's just going to lean one way or the other. In fact, from the laws of agency, this agent must favor the seller's best interest. Also home and neighborhood quest is a real estate brokerage, but one unlike the typical brokers. Traditional agents represent buyers and sellers at the same time. I never represent sellers. My brokerage is called an exclusive buyer's agency. A simple way to think about an exclusive buyer's agency is an agency that counts homes bought, not homes sold. They're a buyer's advocate. They're what buyers need today. What is an exclusive buyer's broker, though? It's the practice of representing only buyers in a transaction. The company never lists a seller's property and thus never has a seller as a client. Why should exclusive buyer's brokers matter to you? Let me give you the most significant reason. We work 100% in your best interest. How do you know when you're dealing with a seller's agent? It's important to know because a seller's agent is contractually committed to special duties to the seller. For example, there will be occasions when your agent cannot share things with you. These are all specified under the laws of agency. Let's look at an agency being formed between seller and listing broker. The seller says, you are authorized to act on my behalf to create a legal relationship with the buyer of my home. I understand, says the broker, I will be working under your control and on your behalf. The broker then announces to all his agents, you must be loyal and keep our client's best interests ahead of those of any other party are agents of the broker and through the broker to the seller. Let's follow the money in a real estate transaction. It adds clarity to how dual agencies are formed. The listing broker and the listing agent return half of the commission and place the home on the multiple listing service. The other half is compensation for finding the buyer. Now any of hundreds of brokerage and their thousands of agents can sell the home. The listing broker and the listing agent will both get their commission regardless of who sells the home. This is why some leading agents focus the majority of their time on finding more listings. It is not uncommon for an agent working for the listing broker to sell an agency listing. When the listing broker is also the selling broker, you have a dual agency. If the listing agent sells his or her own listing, it's called double siding, as they get both sides of the commission. It gives listing agents a strong incentive to sell their own listings. Let's look at the laws of agency as it deals with dual agency. If a buyer is shown property listed with a broker, buyer consents to broker becoming a dual agent, representing both buyer and seller in respect to those properties. If you like an agent working within a brokerage but don't want to deal with dual agency, it is possible under this statement buyer understands that this election will prevent broker from showing buyer those properties that are listed with broker's firm or from representing buyer in connection with those property. It is an unlikely option with most agents. They're likely to ask you to also consider the company's listings and thus deal with the possibility of dual agency. I believe you should be aware of dual agency. Why would you hire an agent that represents the sellers when you want to buy? Here's the challenge. A dual agent owes his or her client a duty of loyalty, obedience, disclosure, confidentiality, financial responsibility, and reasonable care and diligence. It's easy to understand how all of these duties would apply to an agent's seller or to an agent's buyer, but to both at the same time. For your agent to work in your best interest, your agent would have to work against the seller's interest, violating the law of dual agency. What are the laws of agency as they deal with a buyer's broker? They're quite simple. Since the entire brokerage firm only represents buyers and does not list property, in any resulting transaction, the broker will be the exclusive agent of buyer, not a dual agent also referencing a seller. My commitment is 100% to you. I'm sure it's entered your mind 
just what is an exclusive buyer's brokerage agreement. Exclusive buyer's brokerage put their promises in writing, outlining how they protect and represent you in a higher manning manner than a typical agent. Yes, we enter a contract and I become your exclusive agent, but only for a home based on a clearly defined criteria and within a specific geography. I want to thank you for viewing this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful in making a decision about retaining a buyer's broker. Call me or email me with any questions. I'm Robert Dean. Together as a team, we truly can find your dream home.